Hey guys, Dusty here with Dusty Fish Co. Gonna do a quick video for you on uh, how to fillet pompano that I uh, caught in the surf yesterday. Short, sweet, easy, gonna cook it too. A little pan sear, make some lunch for me and Kevin. So enjoy the video and I'll see y'all uh, at the fillet table. Come on in, baby. Let's see what we got, come on. There we go, there's a little fight right there. There we go. That's a, that's a eater right there, baby. That's going home for dinner. That is a gorgeous pomp. All right, guys, first things first, you need a pompano and you need a fillet knife. I'm using my Danko. Uh, I just enjoy these knives, they're really nice. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below for you if you want to pick one up. All right, guys, so this is my uh, fancy fillet table here. <laughs> so when you're filleting these, if you feel right here, you can feel the hard spot kind of run around all the way up to their head you can actually fillet all the way up here and get some of that head meat too i am going to get him going basically you just want to feel your way around that's what when you're doing this you can feel it with the knife when you're cutting feel the hard spot all the way up to the head and down then you just want to outline him. All right. When you get in here, you get over that spine and you angle your knife back down. Line the belly real quick. Right there. Pull that up and meet up with your cut from the top. And that is all she wrote. Pompano fillet there. Nothing but spine. Missed a little bit there. Not crazy. Same thing on the other side. There you have it. Two nice, uh, two nice pompano fillets right there. You can cook the skin on, which is uh, exactly what I'm gonna do. So whenever you dump filleting these, you should be able to see the uh, the bones right through here. And uh, that should be, a, that's a good fillet there. Didn't miss much meat at all. Got all the head meat off of there. So that's what you want it to look like when you're done. And once you take the pen bones out, that's what you're left with right there is two nice pompano fillets. Ready to be eaten, ready to be cooked. It's gonna be delicious. See you on the kitchen. All right, guys, super easy. Just going to cover them in avocado oil real quick, season them, and then pan sear them. And off we go. They'll be easy. It's easy. It's quick. It's delicious. Not my preferred way to do pompano, but is what we got where we're at. We're at the Airbnb still. So this is what we're doing. All right, guys, avocado oil. Just going to coat them real quick. I did cut uh, some pieces off the filet just so they would fit in the pan a little bit better. Uh, and I do have a couple fillets from the whiting I caught while I was out there as well. So just coat both sides of everything real good in avocado oil. There you go. And then just going to rock with some Everglades seasoning on these. There's no need to hit the skin side of the pompano, obviously, unless you want to eat it, which I believe you can. I just don't do it. So good. And follow it up with a little bit of garlic powder. And call it a day. Once the uh, pan's heated up, we'll be good to go. All right, so our oil just started to smoke just lightly. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in. Uh, what I do anytime I'm cooking fish with skin on it is I always go skin side down first. Just so it gets a little sear on the meat and then you cook the rest skin side down. When you put your fish in a pan, always move it. 
after you place it just so that helps prevent it from sticking. All right guys, I typically do about three minutes on each side. And like I said, I always go uh, meat side down first. And you see why, I get that gorgeous sear, that gorgeous color on the fish right there. And I got a little bit of room in here. I'll drop those uh, whiting fillets in as well. All right guys, when you stick a fork in it and you can see it peeling apart, that means your fish is done. And that my friends is pan seared pompadour.